The most famous reindeer of all Charles. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny nose Good morning you guys and welcome to today's video. It is currently 11.45 and I am uploading today's video. It is just a small little Princess Polly haul and me going to work yesterday because I couldn't film anything because I don't have my camera. I guess you yet again does not have her camera because the battery has not arrived yet and I don't have the mailbox key yet again because my mom didn't leave it on the table. So fortunately there's not much I can do. Today I have work at 2.45. I open. I'm going to go to the mall and get some food um just because i'm really not feeling anything that we have in the house unfortunately but i look like a freaking train wreck i'm so exhausted i stayed up a little bit too late last night um reading a book and it was so good um but yeah so i definitely did not get enough sleep and i had to wake up around 10 o'clock to edit and then upload because i do have to leave early and i want to go to starbucks get a drink film a taste test for you guys and that is pretty much everything i got going on like i mentioned in yesterday's vlog yes vlog was so good so i'm hoping i can continue the positive vibes and energies in today's shifts yeah today's shift and then tomorrow's shift because i also work tomorrow i just wanted to get this intro started for you guys i'm going to go and get ready so i I don't look like a hot mess um but i think i also just want to like relax and like lay down and like read a little bit or like watch some youtube videos um beforehand because i don't have to get ready for like another 15 ish minutes that being said let's just get started on today's video hello you guys what is up it is now 12 42 and i am on my way to starbucks i'm running a little bit behind but that's because i washed the dishes before i left so that took the extra 10 minutes but I am on my way. Um, my Amazon package came from my camera batteries. So when I get home from work tonight, I can charge that and actually film on my camera tomorrow. Thank the Jesus because, because literally vlogging on my phone right now is the most annoying thing I've ever done in my entire life. I took some Christmas cookies that my mom left yesterday that I was talking about and I'm going to munch on those. I'm going to get a few drinks from Starbucks. I'm going to get one to try and then I'm going to get a coffee um, because I'm exhausted because I only got like five hours of sleep last night. Or actually, it was like six. It was six um, because I was feeding. Um, but yeah, that is everything I have to say for it now. I'm going to go and pay attention to the road so I don't get into a car accident because that is the last thing we want for today. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. It is 9.43. I'm sitting in my car and I am going to devour some of my leftover chicken teriyaki from the mall earlier today. Literally smells so good. It smells like my car and I'm just so freaking hungry because that was the only thing I ate today. I have my raspberry strawberry lemonade. Today was decent. Um, My last table was like the best one of the entire day left me the best tip so oh my gosh i'm so happy i have on my day and then i'm freaking off god freaking bless i'm so happy that is everything i have for right now and i'll probably talk to you guys when i get home hello you guys what is up it is actually the next day um and i was in the process of editing this video and i realized that i really just don't have that much footage just because i had to go to work like so early yesterday and pretty much all i did was edit a video here at my house so i thought it would be kind of fun to talk about my semester at C um, application process because I know so many people are applying or interested in it and I thought it would be fun to kind of add it into like this little segment for today's vlogmas video um so if you guys are new here hi I am Alex I just got accepted I don't know what that sound is please excuse that um and I got accepted for the spring 2022 voyage of semester at sea what is that oh it's a moving truck I applied for semester at sea actually kind of twice so I applied before September I think it was like the 21st or something like that and that was the day that semester at sea changed the application process so the website was a little bit different and the things that you had to do was different so the first time I applied was with the old website. Um, I definitely like the new website better. I have to say it definitely was more like structured. The old application process when I would like submit one thing. So let's say, so I started off with um, submitting the actual application, which was, I believe $50, but now I think it's 75, but they do have um, like, fee, like the application fee waivers online. So both times I was able to get mine waived. So I first applied and in the old application, 
application process you had to do like an optional essay and i believe the choices were pick a country that you're really interested in going to and explain like how that would be beneficial for your job and i can't remember the second one because that was not the one i chose um so i submitted that and then once you submit the application then you also for postgrad um you have to submit your official transcripts which is required of whatever um whatever like category you're applying for either like postgrad undergrad and then i don't know what it is for like for gap years so then i submitted my official transcripts for my bachelor's school i also had to write so for postgrad i had to write like a statement um just explaining why i want to do postgrad how that's going to like help me in my job market or like in my career path like what made me want to do it so then i also um sent that out and then this is where the issue lied all of that took me longer than september 1st so then once september 21st came um i had to switch to the new website because i needed two recommendations i needed a recommendation letter from a professor or like somebody that could like vouch for me before in the old application process it wasn't like a form they have to fill out or anything like that but she just like literally ran out of time because i found out like so close i found out the friday before the website was switching over so obviously i didn't get it in on time this is now where the new application process lies so i do like the the new one better because it tells you out of the bat like what you have to do and it has like little like empty kind of like boxes and then it like checks off once you have it done so i did the application that one actually was a little bit more trickier because i had to send my transcripts in from my undergrad school which was perfectly fine the issue lied when it was my graduate school i had to send it because at that point when i was applying i haven't completed any classes so i didn't have like a gpa or anything like that so i called my um advisor for semester at c and Everyone has their personal advisor for whatever st um, state that they live in and um she told me to literally just take a screenshot that is what i did i took a screenshot just saying that i was like enrolled in grad school just showed and it just showed like my class and stuff like that so once that was figured out i sent that in then once that was done i contacted my faculty advisor that was doing my recommendation again because now there was a form that she had to fill out and i sent it to her and when she filled that out it automatically uploads so she doesn't have to like send it to me and like me upload it anything like that when she is done it officially goes up to the website so i don't have to worry about it um i still had to do a post statement so i just uploaded the one that i did before but something that was different was there was no optional like essay for like the two questions that everyone else talks about on youtube that's not a thing anymore at least not when i did it so i didn't have to do that thank gosh um because that would have sucked and that is when i set my application in and i was done um and then it was literally a waiting game and i believe i found out within like two and a half three weeks that i got accepted um for the spring 22 voyage and i was so ecstatic i'm so happy i already put my deposit down At this point it's kind of just a waiting game until scholarships open up which isn't until july i want to say so i can't really do anything until july like scholarship wise taking out loans or anything because i don't know how much fast i'm gonna get like my aid scholarship grants all of that jazz so there's probably gonna be like a part two like updating you guys once mid 2021 kind of rolls around um hopefully Hopefully this voyage does not get canceled because that would absolutely suck. But with that being said, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed um, me talking about the application process. If you guys are interested in Semester at Sea and make sure you subscribe and I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next vlogmas video. Bye you guys. <laughs>